Imagine a world where machines are smarter than humans. Does this sound like a thrilling prospect or a terrifying dystopia? This is the question we find ourselves grappling with as we delve into the realm of artificial intelligence. The rapid growth of AI is both fascinating and alarming, pushing the boundaries of what machines can do and how they think. At the forefront of this groundbreaking field stands Jeffrey Hinton, often dubbed as the godfather of AI. His work, especially his decade-long association with Google, has been instrumental in shaping the landscape of AI as we know it today. One of his most significant contributions has been in the creation of chatbots like ChatGPT, a marvel of modern technology that simulates human conversation with uncanny accuracy. But here's where the plot thickens. What happens when the creator starts to fear his creation? Let's delve deeper into this intriguing narrative in the next scene. Hinton, once a herald of AI's potential, now stands among its critics. This British-Canadian cognitive psychologist and computer scientist, once revered as the godfather of artificial intelligence, has had a dramatic change of heart. After more than a decade at Google, Hinton bid adieu to his tech giant home, freeing himself to voice his growing concerns about the trajectory of AI. In a candid interview with the BBC, Hinton expressed an unease that has been brewing over time. The swift progress of AI, he suggests, is a cause for concern. With advancements like ChatGPT and its successor GPT-4, AI is not just catching up to human intelligence, but threatening to surpass it. Hinton's own research has been instrumental in paving the path for chatbots like ChatGPT, a fact that now appears to haunt him. He fears that if we continue at this pace, we may soon find ourselves in a world where robots are smarter than humans. Hinton's worries extend far beyond academic curiosity. He's seen AI's potential firsthand and, with it, its capacity for misuse. Watching GPT-4 outperform humans in various areas, he's compelled to warn us of the imminent reality. As he puts it, right now we're seeing things like GPT-4 beating a human in the amount of general knowledge and it's better than humans in a lot. In Hinton's words, we should be concerned about that. What if the power of AI falls into the wrong hands? This is not a hypothetical scenario from a dystopian novel, but a genuine fear expressed by AI pioneer Jeffrey Hinton. He paints a chilling picture, a nightmare scenario where AI could be used as a tool for power by those with ill intentions. Imagine, if you will, an entity, a person, or a government, harnessing the power of AI to create their own sub-goals. These sub-goals could be anything, but let's consider one possibility that Hinton warns us about, the pursuit of power. The potential for misuse and abuse of AI is immense, and the implications are far-reaching. This isn't about AI outsmarting humans at chess or solving complex mathematical equations faster than any human could. This is about AI being used as a tool to manipulate, control, and overpower. It's about the potential of AI to amplify the ambitions of those who seek power at any cost. And here's the kicker. AI is not bound by human limitations. It does not tire, it does not forget, and it is not confined by geography or time. It can learn and adapt at a pace and scale that is beyond human comprehension. As Hinton concludes, all these copies can learn separately, but immediately share their knowledge. It's the equivalent of when one person in a group of 10,000 people learns something, everyone else immediately has the same knowledge. This is the power and the peril of AI. It is a tool, and like any tool its impact depends on the hands that wield it. The future of AI might seem exciting but it's not without its dangers. This sentiment comes from the very pioneer of artificial intelligence, Jeffrey Hinton. He voices grave concerns about the rapid pace at which this technology is advancing. Chatbots like GPT-4, the product of his research, are already outdoing humans in areas of general knowledge. He warns that at this rate, we're on a fast track towards a future where machines could surpass human intelligence. Hinton's call for caution isn't to stifle progress but rather to ensure we're prepared for the implications. He urges companies and individuals alike to stop turning a blind eye to the risks of AI. The technology has the potential to be exploited, and the consequences of misuse could be dire. As we stand on the brink of this new era, Hinton leaves us with a sobering thought to ponder. The question is, are we ready to face a future where machines could potentially be smarter than us?